Alrighty, so this is, you know, another, you know, conspiracy reaction. Y'all see, okay, hopefully this one won't give me, like, a lot of chills because I was regretting saying that, you know, what, chills and shivers? Hopefully this one is medium, at least still interesting to you guys. Hopefully it is. Um, so, alright. Let's hop right to, you know, the um, intro. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that. Alright, don't blow the bell and comment, okay? And share the video, alright, alright? That helps me out and that helps the rare us out, alright? It's about the intro. See, it's getting corny now, so. Alright, so we got these creepy TikToks that will shock you into the court and change your reality. Alright. Okay, so hopefully it's not where it's like me looking around because the last video, you know, the last time I was looking around a little bit in January diamonds. I was looking around a bit, so uh, hopefully this one is mid tone. All right. Why did it? I I think it's just a yeah it's a preview okay all right yeah it's a preview. Cause I was wondering, I'm just like, why did it? If that was a little bit longer, I would have given it. Could you find a way to let me down slowly? Okay. Oh, yeah. oh wow. But that's so cool. I see it now. Okay. That is cool. But how in the world it does that though? That's what I'm wondering. Wow. That is cool. I do have a couple flip phones for my parents laying around. But I don't know if it still works. And then I have one my uncle gave me. I don't know. Did somewhere. Where did the audio go? Ooh, okay. So it says how to see in parallel dimension part 76. We got a Kit Kat. I don't know, cause I like I feel like that 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 does, yeah. Cause I mean, how full that old is, so. Effect your wait wait Mandela effect. Okay. Yeah, this is. How does he in a parallel dimension part thirty six? Is this from a different person? Cause that would be like kind of, well, like cool to see like someone like we doing the video, but okay, let's try it. You know, I have a phone from the two thousand eight or below. Like, let's try it. But I do believe this is true. I do. Cause we got the Bernstein Bears. That's one. Yeah, the Bernstein Bernstein, and then Fruit and Loom. Cause I'm. Yep, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I. I remember when I was like, 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 um, they're younger, like, I remember shirts my dad that wore, like, 
it has a fruit and loom logo on it with the the you know what you call it? the let me just call it the things giving a little on something i don't know the Fubutopia, yeah the Fubutopia. i think i'm right and it had that and i'm just like ain't they had that yeah because i remember on commercials they had that and i was like maybe maybe like before 2010 i don't know like i remember shirts having that like i remember my own two eyes and that's what made food and loom unique but now they don't have that i'm just like where's that at the food topia the, yeah the food you know because they don't have that now yeah so because it had like a little uh the yep the the little behind the fruits and i remember that Yeah, you. I mean, you already know these celebrities sold their souls, but sometimes I think the actual like their cells break out, and maybe they, because that glitch, it, it's no editing. She's really on live, so, and that's probably what actually she feels, because it's like her actual cell came out, not her like, her, like so her like the one that she sold her soul, you know, like version of herself, like. The one her that her actual self came out. It might be confusing what I'm trying to say, but like you know what I mean, like her actual self came out and that's how she actually is. She hates human beings because she's not a human being. She's a de you know, demonic entity. And I mean that was a real like glitch right there. I'm just saying that's no editing, so Okay, he looked demonic and And then wait, he got free six Seven, okay, wait. Because I thought he had six little, yeah, devil horns. It says demonic MLK era. Wait. Uh, yeah, it did. They got copies of themselves. And then also, I do notice like their eyes. You see how my eyes look more lively like with their eyes most celebrities eyes they look dead like Beyonce for example we got it's just like the poopoo is too dark it's too dark you know it's like not lively I mean yeah I do have ring lights around me but it's like you can still see liveliness like I in my body you know what I mean like I didn't sell my soul for like money I, a buck you know like you can see it with my yeah Yeah, they be telling on themselves with their key terms. They be telling on themselves. And she, she oh wait, wait, oh, wait, is she open? <laughs> wait, no, no, she's not over. <laughs> wait, no, she's over. I got confused with um, what's her name? Uh, Wendy. Woo, yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you probably mean like, um, yeah, the artwork. No, no, we don't. Mm, who's we? I don't know. I'm a live human. I don't want you, but you, you sold your soul. Yeah, you're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, who's we? Ain't no we. You're a demonic entity. What are you talking about, Beyonce? Like, what? No. Like, you meant the we that sold your souls. That's the group you in. Not, nah, not human beings who have a soul still. No. What did they tell you was wrong? They told me I was bipolar. And I remember going on TMZ and saying, you know, slavery is a choice. And they medicated me for saying that, for having that opinion mm. and saying it out loud. But as I put those contracts up, I'm saying, this is a choice. As I, you know, I, 
Oh, but he's talking about like being a celebrity. That's slavery, and he wants. Wait, I guess. I guess I kind of get it. Yeah, it was taken out of context, and it was. I guess I get. I get it. Like, cause being a celebrity, you are slaved, but I feel like most of them choose to be slaves. You know, cause it's like you are working for the devil. You know what I mean? There's no turning back. You already sold your soul. But I feel like. Like what's happened to them? Their actual true selves came out. Like their truthful, you know, selves. Just like I don't know, maybe they wanted more fame, more I don't know. And like it breaks out their shell. Like the actual true selves come out and breaks out their shell, and they be like, you know, I want to get this fame. You know, take me out. You know, this is not for me. But somehow, like they, someone probably snap or something, and then they go back to the I don't know. I feel like it is. Here's right. one for instance. I'm going to show you guys a couple of videos. Starting with this one from Britney Spears. A lot of people remember her using a plaid skirt in this video clip. But she's not using a plaid skirt anymore. Here he goes with the phone camera. On the plaid skirt. She never used the plaid skirt. In this video clip, for instance, a lot of people remember Britney Spears using a microphone. Here he goes with the camera. Microphone. Yes, yeah, she did. She did. But she never did use a microphone. What is going on? The same. It, I don't look at it now. It don't look right because it's just like something's missing. And the microphone part, I think I remember. Like it just suits the video. No, I mean something's off. And then that last one with the "Hit Me Baby One More Time" one. Um, I thought like her skirt was that color because I think I don't know. Like it just because ain't she's like the. She's like the star, basically, and she got her background singers, right? So it should, most of the time, like, in music videos, they have a different color scheme. And the background and dancers, like, it's something different. Maybe their skirt or shirt to make them stand out. Like, people know that this is a star right here singing, you know what I mean? And, like, what makes sense to have the same color skirt as a background dancer? You know, like, that something's, like, different off of her to make her stand out. So I think that past skirt, yeah. This is not CGI. This is not a camera trick. Check that out. What is going on here? The same thing with the Monopoly guy. He's using a monocle. I remember him using a monocle, but he never did. If you search for Google, if you Google search him, the Monopoly guy, it says that, that he never used No, it. no, that don't look right. That don't look right. No. Yeah, he did use, because that was the, like, his outfit, like, the little on his eyeball that's his little initial yeah because that don't look right that look plain you see like like no because i use i have a i own my monopoly game and like i think with the little you know the little cards that come in that game it he has a little yeah the little circle thing on his eyeball it don't look right with him looking like that you know what i'm saying it's just like come on now we we know this we, like huh like it's like don't play no games like that. Like we, like we ain't stupid. Like this don't look right. Like we we can catch it. Like and that that's true. That's true. Cause that right there is true. The kind of top the kind of top yet. But that's true. Mm -hmm. Cause that don't that don't look right. That don't look right. No, that didn't work. Right. I hope I won't get out with a cover. I don't know. Hmm. I did went to Chick-fil-A weeks ago. Huh. I don't know. It's just like, I feel like when it looks like that, it looks too much. You know what I mean? Like, I think, because I went to Chick fil A a few times in my life. I don't know when they change it, but like, that one, it just looked too much. You know, like, you can tell it's a little too much, like something, a little too much for them. And that, yeah, a birth state, yep. Bur there it is. See, yeah, I remember 
Yeah, I grew up around that time. Yeah, and that no, it was it was an E that it wasn't an A. Yeah, and I was like, well, I'm not dumb. It was the Bernstein, not Bernstein. That song stank. See, yeah, it was the Bernstein Bears. Cause I remember, um, Elmer School. I had a book. And it wasn't Bernstein. That sounds stank. It was Bernstein. Bernstein. Not Bernstein. Like the Bernstein Bears. That, no. It's the Bernstein Bears. With the E. Not the A. Because the other way it looks stank. Like see. That don't. That, that, no. That's not. No. no that, that, but that's not. No. Hey, go for it. Wait. Do cheese it. I know it used to be the demo. <laughs> I mean, it used to be. It does not look good. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Cause, um, I had. Yeah, that don't know. It had. Yeah, it's like cheese its I pronounce it with cheese its because it, the Z. Yeah, they think we tripping. Not cheese it. Cheese it. That's not what is that? Not cheese its Cheese its Z. Yeah. Like, that, no. Yeah. That, I don't know why they did that. Actually, that no. The fact is a phenomenon where millions of people remember past events differently from what they originally had. For instance, the Monopoly guy using a monocle. A lot of people remember him using a monocle. Yay. But apparently he never did. If you he did, he did, he did, he did. Same thing with this video. A lot of people he did. The That's what made him like unique. Um, I mean, I love our chances. You know, it's been, uh, it's been... <laughs> Thing is, there are a couple of people capturing the Mandela effect on camera. And it's the case what of the black police who has been using an old phone to see somehow through a parallel dimension. This is what he recorded from the same video. You can see there, she's blind. Officially, she was never blind, but ChatGPT remembers Emily Austin actually being the woman from this commercial. So, this is where things get even stranger. A YouTube right. account captured the Mandela effect. Alright, this this is kind of like, get a little high tone, so mid tone. Okay. Alright. <laughs> And that is true, you know, with demonic music, it like casts a spell on you. Cause I, I'm like, you know, not that while ago, like with Dota Cat song, like, um, what's it called? Like, say your location that I can Cause I remember, um, listening to it, you know, like a while ago, and like, well, not that while ago, but it was like around this frame, um, when she made it, like she, I think she made it in 2021 or 2022, I don't know. But I remember listening to it and like, I just feel like I was in another tunnel, like another dimension, you know, as I kept on continuing it and looping it, I feel like I was in another tunnel, like sinking, like that movie, um, Inside, wait, no, I was going to say Inside Out, what in the world, um, uh, what's it called, by, I don't know, like, Get Out, yeah, Get Out, like he, he was sinking in the chair, it reminded me of that. I don't know, because with some songs by celebrities, they do cast spells on you and like they make you think a certain way, you know, more sexual or, you know, like um, more vanity, etc. Like it's casting spell, you know, and that's why like I try to like have music where it's like I vibe to, but I don't, I kind of like tune it out. You know, I you know listen to it um, if it's not like gospel, like I listen to it as like maybe just to like a, a beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I kind of talk about the lyrics, but again, I do know my, like, limits, you know? Like, but with Doja Cat and around that branch, you know, I, I don't, I don't she is cuckoo. So remember I was talking to you about MK Ultra? 
But yeah, I remember, you know, uh, with some Prince songs, it's like, it's too sexual for me. And, you know, I think about that type of act all the time, you know, because while listening to it, you know, and makes it like very hyper, just stuff like that. It's just like, you gotta be careful what you listen to, you know, like, it's, you gotta be careful what you feel in your spirit, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, that be carrying out, yeah, I'm just like, and then, like, calm down, yes, that's just, Slap with Will. Jeremy, I saw you on the red carpet. Looks like you lost those last few pounds. Oh wait. Oh, they they pull it side by side like it's like it's like a strip. Like they, I mean, I mean, cause how he acted, I'm just like, you know, get a while. I want to knock him out. I don't care if I'm recording. I want to knock him out. I want to play that painfully off. I'm just like, I would knock you out. You slapped me because I made a joke about your wife. I'm just like, if I was in his shoes, I would knock him out. Senseless. I'm like, you just slapped me. <laughs> let's not do this. I'm like, let's make this world star. Cause you, you, you asking for, it. yeah, like you asking for it. Like, put, put, put. <clears throat> like, I, I, <laughs> yeah, cause I wanna, I wanna knock him out of his shoes. <laughs> cause it's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm, a, yeah. Angela. Yeah, like yeah, like yo. Know, Jeremy dropped. Could have been a character in that dress, but I guess you brought. So I, I guess to the right is old, and then this is current. I guess. Or something. saw that like this was and this was in 2020 yeah so this is almost two years ago it, it don't but like i saw this so i was just like would it work like i will knock him out like this reminded me like a play i mean everything you do is a play it's just like it was just so 
Like, come on, man. Like, you're going to knock him out since he just slapped you. He was just laughing one minute, like, oh. And then next minute, you know, his wife whispers somebody in his ear. I'm just like, you should have did that uh, when he first made a joke. Not the G.I. Joe joke, because he was been making jokes about your wife. Why do it after that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, that's a little weird, you know? Like, you should have been stand on that before. You know, like, when he started the first sentence about his wife. But not, like, I have a G.I. Joe thing. That was literally like, what? That was like, what the hell? Like, that was, like, no. And, yeah. Like, no, no, no. Like, no. I remember, you know, the memes off of that? That was funny. The truth about John the D. Memes. Rockefeller. For those of you who don't like, know who this man is, this man was one of America's first billionaires. He took over the big oil companies. He owned nearly 95% of all the oil companies in America, and he created the big pharma medicine. It all started out when he bought the Standard Oil Company. This was America's first monster monopoly. By taking over nearly all the oil companies in America, this is how he became really wealthy. This was America's first billionaire. He eventually then discovered petrochemicals and the ability to create a bunch of chemicals from oil. He ended up discovering various minerals within these oils and decided that he could create pharmaceutical medicine from this oil. And the best thing about this for him was everything could be patented and sold for high profits. He was all about the money. At this time, medical industries was utilizing plant medicine. He then started paying out the American Medical Association to stop utilizing plant medicines and to stop teaching plant medicines within the colleges. He was offering more than 100 million to colleges and hospitals. The goal was to identify which chemicals from the plants were carrying these diseases and recreate these chemicals in a lab, not identical, but close enough so that it could be patentless. He basically paid off these schools to start teaching his knowledge about you know, the pharmaceutical medicine and the oils. He knew that if he could cause a problem, have the cure or fix for it, he would be the richest man in the world. And this is exactly what he did. How he the Rockefellers away. also started the organization Planned Parenthood. Their goal was to reduce pregnancies in women. Bill Gates' father was also one of the lead investors in this organization. Him and the other elite banking families like the Rothschild started the Federal Reserve. They own nearly all the central banks in America, this allowing them to create money out of thin air. Their plan was to take over the financial system, and this is what they did. Now with the ability to I think I saw that there, they like, were able image to buy before whatever they wanted. With the the aim for big pharma medicine was not to make people healthy, but instead their goal was to make everybody sick. I wonder what that symbol is. I, I do want to make the that money. Symbol. He knew that he couldn't make money off a healthy community. So here we are, a hundred years later, cheering on doctors who know nothing about herbal medicine. We now have a society that's enslaved to corporations for its own well-being. America spends a huge amount of money on health care, but it really should be called sick care because they are not yep. focused on the cure; they're focused on the symptoms. I mean, this is yep. creating repeat customers. Yep. The same people that are telling yep. you that there's no cure for these diseases are all funded by this man right here. Yep. Of course, they're not going to tell you there's a cure for their disease. This is how they make their money. Mm -hmm. And as of the American yep. Cancer Society, it was funded by this man right here. This is why we have to give up all these pharmaceutical medicines. The basis to all of these pharmaceutical drugs, I shouldn't even call them medicines, is petroleum oil. Mm -hmm. And taking petroleum causes headaches, dizziness, nausea, more and more and more. High levels can even cause coma or yep. death. And this is exactly what your pharmaceutical medicine is made from. These yeah. doctors go to a school that get taught information that's funded by John D. Rockefeller. They do not know the cure to these diseases. They are simply taught how to talk and ask questions with a patient, listen to their symptoms their body is having, and give them the right pharmaceutical drug for it. This, just putting a band-aid over the wound, not fixing the problem, yeah. and causing more problems yeah. down the road. Not to mention, these pharmaceuticals have huge side effects on the body and going to cause even more problems. That's going to get treated with more pharmaceutical drugs. This yep. man got y'all in a loophole. It's time we wake up, family, start going back to nature, start going back to our yep. roots, and start using herbal yep. medicine again. Yep. Yep. Andy Rockefeller, that's what he was all about. He's the richest man in the world, was raised by a psychopath. John D. Rockefeller's dad was named, they called him Devil Bill. His dad, they know all about his dad. This is not a conspiracy theory. Their family, the historians will tell you about his uh, father. He created him. He was a rapist, snake oil salesman, running from the law, changed his name. Uh, Devil Bill. Devil Bill, that was his name, so he had a bunch of sons, and John D. Rockefeller was one, and he was known, he wanted to, he was quoted as saying, I cheat my sons every day, I want them sh as sharp as can be. He just beat the living fucking trust out of them and just drowned all their
their trust. See, John D. Rockefeller grew up not trusting anybody. And he got busted for monopolizing oil. They finally indicted him. He had to break out, break apart Standard Oil, and it made him a billionaire. That's what made him rich is when he got busted. When he had to sell everything off, he just... All right, I can't, I, I, I can't hear you. I can't. All right, that's enough. That's enough for me. I'm, I, I get me chills. <laughs> All right, I'm, that's enough for me. That's enough. Ooh, cause like I y'all y'all see, I just like this make me feel a little little ill. Like, why would you want to call yourself the the, the All right, like okay. Anyways, um, <clears throat> okay, that's it's a little little weird. It's a little more weird. Cause like, I thought this was like mid tone. This is like a high tone. Well, chills, okay, now I kind of, I just thought, I just wish it was, like, more, like, food, because, I don't know, like, creepy food, like, now I'm kind of like, man, good night, like, okay, uh, yeah, all right, um, God bless you all, guys, have a beautiful, blessed day, in Jesus' name I pray, amen, and, you know, God loves you all, and have a beautiful, blessed night, or day, always, and love you guys from the bottom hearts, and, you know, right out the um, outro, see you guys later.